I'm Josh from uh, Job Jetting. Come to a walk up for the day, do another, do another uh, uh, house front. This is just pretty simple. Eh? It's just um, a little bit of patio and some block paving. So basically, what I'm going to do, run around with a turbo nozzle, making sure not to point it face down to get rid of all the foundations out, all the, uh, the sand out from underneath. Um, clean around the edges and then go over my surface, surface cleaner. What I'm doing here, I'm uh, wetting the surface before I put my chemicals down because you don't want the chemicals to seep into the actual um, concrete. Eh? So, um, all you want it to do is sit on the top and kill the stuff on top, not the actual concrete. Because if it seeps into the concrete, you can leave stains and there's any iron deposits or anything in there, it'll, it'll react with it and rust. So, just going to wet the old lot of this top of this brick, uh, put the chemicals on, leave it on for 10 15 minutes. And then uh, press it, wash it off, a bit like new. To get the uh, chemicals out through the, uh, the nozzle, we use what's called a chemical injector. Uh, this works by the pressure, it differentiates the pressure from the jet wash to the hose, which creates suction on this pipe. Sucks, sucks the chemicals up, usually 10 to 1 ratio, so pretty weak mix we use, and we don't really need it, don't really need a strong mix, so yeah, so we'll start it up and we'll get the chemicals out. spin round, these are 35 degree nozzles, spin round, cover the whole area and on, on something like this it's not it's not as bad if you've got a big drive you need something like this otherwise you'll just leave cleaning streaks up and down the driveway you've cleaned it with a jet wash. But with this if you just follow where you've cleaned it'll be a nice even clean and uh, yeah so it'll look a lot better. 